Turning to other news now, and what is shaping up to be a pivotal weekend in federal politics. Both the NDP and the Liberals are holding conventions. Today, the New Democrats kicked off theirs in Montreal. The aim? To move the NDP away from its far-left roots to one that appeals to a cross-section of the electorate. But not everyone agrees on just how to achieve that goal. Mike LeCouture joins us now from Montreal with more on the party's strategy. Mike. Well, Robin, the New Democrats come into this weekend trying to position themselves for the next election in 2015. But many believe if they want to win more seats, they'll have to change the image of their party and of their leader. Thomas Mulcair was all smiles after passing a leadership test with 92% support of delegates. But that grin is also part of an effort to change his reputation from angry Mulcair to teddy bear. And to do that, he invoked the memory of the party's last leader. Jack Layton taught us that with love, hope and optimism, we can change the world. Now the party is also renewing itself, modifying the preamble to its constitution. That seems like just a clerical change, but some think the new wording softens its socialist roots. I move to refer this resolution back to the committee with instructions. Barry Weed's leader leads the NDP Socialist Caucus, and he worries his party is abandoning its left-leaning ways and starting to look like the Liberals. There is already a discredited Liberal Party b uh, banner in this country. We don't need two Liberal parties. Our argument is the NDP has to act in the interest of its overwhelming uh, constituency. Now, this very issue came up at the 2011 NDP convention in Vancouver. Fearing a revolt, party leaders asked Bill Blakey, Alexa McDonough, and former president Brian Topp to re-examine the preamble. It's just in language that I think is a bit more elegant and more uh, open to being heard by uh, uh, a broader uh, number of Canadians. But the new version, which will be voted on tomorrow, still isn't sitting well with everyone. Even prominent members like ex-leadership candidate Nikki Ashton. It can be strengthened, uh, it can be improved, I think more can be uh, uh, added to it and, and a discussion can take place. These discussions are part of the democratic process, but it also provides plenty of fodder for other parties. They've chosen a leader that they think can uh, win them more seats, but I think there's some serious instability within the core of the party about the direction that Thomas Mulcair is taking them. Now, normally these types of conventions are supposed to build momentum for a party, but in just 24 hours the Liberals will be choosing their new leader. And that will certainly overshadow anything that happened here this weekend. Robin. Mike LeCouture in Montreal. Thanks, Mike. And it's a big weekend for Liberals as well, as they vote for their next leader. Tomorrow, Global News will have special coverage of the Liberal Leadership Convention online, where the West Block's Tom Clark will anchor a 90-minute webcast. That begins at 5 p.m. Eastern, and you can go to globalnews.ca anytime for all the details.